and worship. Want to welcome our friends joining on Facebook and of course those joining on YouTube at this time. Welcome, welcome, welcome again to MPIA W Motivation Prayer Instruction Action and Worship. And I know that there's a blessing for you and I this morning. All those who are tuning in at this time. To all my friends on WhatsApp, remember to send in your prayer requests on our WhatsApp number 876-997-3125. That's 876-997-3125. You can send your prayer requests to our WhatsApp number, or you can also send a text message to that very same number. But right about now, I want to welcome to MPIAW. It's not his first time here. Not his second time. I believe it's his third time here on MPIAW Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. His name is Apostle Dwight Bartley. Good morning, sir, and welcome to Love 101. How are you doing this morning? I'm not doing bad. I'm doing great, man of God. I'm oh. trying to find back myself again. <laughs> okay, not a problem. So... So how is how has the day been so far? How was yesterday? Because actually we're in a new day this morning. So how was yesterday? Well, yesterday wasn't bad at all. God has been good. And as they say, once there's life, indeed there is hope. Okay. And for sure, God is good. Okay, great. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna um put you on and on so the people can see you, our friends on YouTube. And of course, our friends on YouTube will be seeing you in a little while. But just before you get into this morning's word, tell them again, who is Apostle Dwight Bartley? All right. Um, my name is Apostle Dwight Bartley, as Minister Shane said, and I'm from Mandeville, Manchester. I'm from the Kingdom Life Worship Ambassador Ministry under the leadership of Bishop Mackenzie. I am married. I love the Lord. And I love to preach the undiluted word of God. And it is a privilege for me to be here another time. Not my first time, not second time. I believe it is my third time or probably the fourth time. I think but I'm happy to be here again. Yes, go ahead. Yes, yes. Okay. So I'm happy to be here to share the word of God again. I believe it is my fourth time. Am I right? Um, you were here in the day. You, I believe you're on midday meditation. So if that's the case, you know, you would have been, you have been here quite a, a while now. You're, you're practically family. Of course, it's Love FM's anniversary right. weekend. Of course, um, come tomorrow, which is going to be the 14th. It's going to be our anniversary uh, day. We'll be celebrating tomorrow. We're going to be celebrating 29 years here at Love 101. But just before I connect you on Facebook, we're going to fix some things off air in a little while. So listeners, stay tuned. I know that there's a blessing. We're going to take a quick break. And of course, when we return, I know the man of God will be sharing a powerful word, a word that will bless your hearts. So stick and stay, my friends. Stay tuned to the family station, Love 101. Stay tuned and be blessed. Just round the corner, celebrating all the gift from the Father. God, how you good? How you love with so? Ninety three till now, you never let we go. Come Monday, February fourteen, celebrate all the pandemic scene with the family of listeners and announcers. Them love one, no one of the everybody, my friend. <laughs> it went nice, you see. Oh, yes. Celebration turn up this Monday, February 14 is Love 101 Anniversary Day. 7 to 8 a.m. I remember when. 10 to 11 a.m. Celebration begin. 1 to 2 p.m. Drop a word from the rhythm. We are on the move. All glory to him. God, oh, you good. How you love me so. 93 till now. You never let me go. Anniversary. Anniversary. 29th anniversary. Anniversary. We are on the move. Anniversary. Love 101 a group. Anniversary. <laughs> Love 101 Anniversary Day is brought to you by Chris and Charles. When you think loans, think Chris and Charles. Jamaica Customs, country above self. And Swiss. 
better because it's Swiss. Get to voting now. Yes, you. It's now time for round two. To get to the top 10 list of songs for 2021 as selected by you, visit our Facebook or Instagram page and click on the link and cast your vote for Love 101 listeners' hits for 2021 hits. The link is also available on our WhatsApp status. Just ask and you shall receive. Voting ends Monday, February 14th at 8 p.m. It's round two of Love 101 listeners it's for 2021 it's get to voting now Love 101 FM, the family station, is celebrating 29 years of service to Jamaica. And on Sunday, February 13th, we will pause to say thank you, Father God, for all you have done. It's our 29th anniversary under the theme, We Are On The Move. In Him we live and move and have our being. The service of Thanksgiving will be held at the Portmore Missionary Church at 8 a.m. And it will be live on Love Television, Love 101 FM's social media platforms, and on Love 101 Radio, the family station. It's Reggae Month and every Sunday in February on Love 101 is Jamaican music all day. Enjoy the sounds of our Jamaican gospel in various genres as we observe Reggae Month, all music Jamaican every Sunday on the family station Love 101. Keeps me hey, my friends, it's a family station, Love 101 FM. Of course, we're still on the line with Apostle Dwight Bartley. Can you hear me now, man of God, loud and clear this morning? Are you still there, Apostle? Yes, I'm still here. All right, great. Great. Of course, we'll be showing the video of Apostle in a little while because I know that there's a word that will be coming to the listeners of Love 101. You're inside MPIAW. Maybe you've just tuned in. It's your first time tuned into Love 101. You're inside the segment MPIAW, Motivation, Prayer, Instruction, Action, and Worship. I want to say welcome to our friends joining on Facebook, those joining on YouTube. Hello to you. Hello to uh, my friend Nordia Maxwell. Lavonna Shota, happy, happy, oh, she say happy anniversary to Love 101. Thank you. Claudette Ellis, hello to you. Alvarine Ellis, Ellison. Um, Monica, hello. Monica Clark at um, Kelly, that's Eneth Kelly. Alvarine, um, and all those who are tuned in. Sharon Scott, Natalie Johnson, Fiona Turner, Debbie Ann Johnson, Jodian Simpson, Tatlin Witter. Ophelia Clinton, all those who are on, Bernice James, all those who are joining on Facebook, those joining on YouTube. Of course, it's going to be a great time this morning. And I know there's a blessing with your name written on it. Are you now ready for us, Apostle? I believe Apostle is starting out some stuff. And I know he's just about ready for us this morning. Go ahead, Apostle. Yes, my love God. Indeed, indeed, God is awesome, and God has a word to share with the listeners of Love 101. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm going to be introducing to you Apostle Dwight Bartley, and he will be sharing the word of God to us this morning. So, stay tuned, my friends. There's a blessing that awaits you. Apostle Oh, is everything going? You're live, and uh, the, the listeners are seeing you now. Um, I believe we're now ready. <laughs> so yes, how is everything yes, going? God is good. I just have to be giving God thanks despite of what is happening this time of pandemic. Mm -hmm. I can testify to say God is still faithful. He's still, he's still doing miracles, and he's still doing wonders. And I can say God is a good God. That's right. All right, so Apostle, I know we would have, you know, gone ahead of schedule so i'm just gonna allow you just to flow into the word of god this morning and uh, motivate the listeners of love 101 with a word from the lord go ahead all right greetings to everyone that is listening and to those that are watching 
and greetings to the Love 101 family. Uh, I want to say happy anniversary. May the blessings of the Lord continue to bless you as you continue to be a blessing to many. And I just want to say thank you so much, Minister Douglas, for having me. Amen. Russia and Douglas, for having me another time to share the word of God. It is indeed a privilege. And so tonight, I, I will be sharing the word of God with you from the book of Psalm 84 and verse 11. Psalm 84 and verse 11. And it reads, For the Lord, for the Lord God is a sun and shield, and the Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Let us pray real quick. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship and we adore you. We thank you for another night, another time in your presence. And so, God, as we come before you, I pray that your word will go forth with clarity, with power. And God, it will accomplish that which it is sent to do. I pray that I will decrease and you will increase. And I pray that as your word go forth, I pray that it will minister to somebody tonight. Someone will be revived. And someone will be encouraged in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. You know, Minister Roshane, as you had asked me to, to share a word, a short word of encouragement to the listeners. Yes. As I was meditating, man of God, a word just dropped in my spirit. Delay, but not deny. I don't know who need to hear this message tonight, but God said to tell somebody, Things might be delayed, but it is not denied. You see, man of God, sometimes things are delayed in our lives, not because it is not our season, and sometimes not because it is not our time as yet, not because we're not praying enough, not because we're not fasting enough, but sometimes God delay things because we are in the wrong place, in the wrong position, and around the wrong people. You see, God will delay things in our lives if we are around the wrong people, around the wrong, glory to God, in the wrong position or in the wrong place. Amen. Because you have to understand that it's not everyone who is around you or with you. It's not everyone who is around you with, will celebrate where God wants you to go. Because there are some people, man of God, who are like wolf in sheep clothing. They come and they smile with you and they act as if they are in agreement to the vision and the dream that God has bestowed upon you. But man of God, if you're detecting the spirit, some of these people, they are vision killers. Some of these people, they are dream killers. They don't want to see you strive. They don't want to see you make it in life. But I'm here to tell somebody that this is the season where God is moving some people out of your life, not for the worse, but for the better. Because you have to understand that there are some people, they are only a baggage to where God wants you to go. Some people, they are only a blockage to where God wants you to go. And God said, in order for me to move you to where I want you to go, I have to move some people out of your life. So if is there anybody here listening, me, listening to me tonight? Glory to God. You see some people walking out of your life. You see some people walking away from you. God said, don't cry over them. Don't weep over them because I am moving them out of your life to let you know that it is not them who live, neither who you that lives, but it is the Christ that lives within you. And God is trying to let you know that with or without their help, you're going to make it. Because the Bible said you can do all things, not through them, but through Christ that strengthens you. Glory be to the Lamb of God. So the Lord said, I'm trying to do a new thing in this season, but I'm moving some people out of your life. Glory be to God. You see, when God wants to bless you, he will do whatever it takes 
in order to release your blessing. But if the atmosphere that you're in is not conducive for the blessing, then the blessing will not come. Oh, glory be to the Lamb of God. You see, the Lord said to Abraham, I want to bless you. I want to make your name great. But in order for Abraham's name to become great, Abraham had was to step out from the place that he was in because his, the place that he was in was not conducive for the blessing. His father was an idol worshiper. A lot of things was taking place where Abraham was. And God said, in order for me to bless him, he had to step out. And so Abraham stepped out by faith. If you want to see the move of God in your life in this season, then you have to step out by faith. If you want to see a change, then you have to step out by faith in order for you to see a, a change in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. You see, man of God, the Bible said there was a young man who had a vision by the name of Joseph. And the Bible said that when he shared his vision with his brothers, they got jealous of him. And when they got jealous of him, they wanted to kill him, but they could not kill purpose. I want to hear to tell somebody tonight that purpose cannot die. Oh, glory to God. Purpose cannot die. And even though the devil, he come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But God said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I want to prophesy life to someone tonight who feel hopeless, who feel as if all hope is lost. I'm here to tell somebody that all hope is not lost. It is not over until God says it is over. So man of God, watch this. Joseph brothers, they were jealous of him because of the dream he had. But notice the dream that he had and shared with his brother, oh glory to God. It wasn't fulfilled at the place where he was, where he lived with his brother. That wasn't where the dream was fulfilled. So what God did, God allowed his brothers to set him up and to push him into the place where God wanted the dream to come to pass. You see, sometimes we're in a place where we are too comfortable and God will allow your enemies to do what it takes to push you to where God wants you to go. Oh, glory to God. Even though his brothers, they meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Anytime God wants to move you to a next level, man of God, anytime God wants to turn things around, and if you're in a place where God is not pleased of, he will, he will shake things up in order to move you to another place where he wants to bless you. You see, sometimes you're in a place, but the place that you're in is not the place where God wants you to be permanent. God will put you in a place for a season, but you have to know when your season and your time is up. There are times when God put us in a place and he said, my son, my daughter, I want you to stay at this place for a period of time, but I'm going to shift you to a greater place. But sometimes we get so comfortable. God will allow everything to go wrong in order to move you to the place where he wants you to be. Some of you right now, hell is breaking loose in your life, but the hell that is breaking loose in your life it, it is to introduce you to your next level. Oh, hallelujah. I'm talking to some people right now. You're going through a warm time. You're going through a rough time. All hell is breaking loose around you. But God said he's interrupting you and he's moving you to a next level. He is taking you to a better place, to a better place of favor, to a better place where your life will be much more better in the name of Jesus Christ. So God said, I had to allow Joseph's brother to set him up. They set him up for failure, but God turned it around for favor. You see, your enemies are setting you up for failure, but God said, I'm about to turn it around and allow it to work in your favor. My God, 
You see, your enemies, they will sell you out. But God will allow them to sell you out to put you in the place where he wants you to be. Had it not been for what Joseph brothers did, Joseph wouldn't have ended up into that palace. You see, sometimes God will put you in the pit, then take you out of the pit and put you in the prison and then take you out of the prison and put you into the palace. Oh, glory to God. But God said the pit and the prison and the setup was only a preparation to where God wants you to go. So somebody is going through a rough time right now. Somebody might be going through a pit. Somebody might be going through a prison. Oh, glory to God. And I'm, I'm not speaking literally, but I'm speaking figuratively. You might be going through a rough time. But God said what you are going through is only preparing you to where I want you to go. Hallelujah. So not because things might not be working at the exact time that you want it to work. Oh, glory to God. It doesn't mean that it is denied and it doesn't mean that nothing is going to work out. What God is saying is that I am preparing you. Oh, glory to God. What God is saying, I am shifting you. What God is saying, I am moving you from around some people, from around the wrong atmosphere. And I am putting you in the right atmosphere so I can pour out my blessing upon you. So God said to tell somebody tonight, Things might be delayed, but it is not denied. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Things might be delayed, but it is not denied. God said, what is yours is yours. God said to tell somebody, the reason why I also delay things is because sometimes you have to understand that the package that God has for us, it is ready for us, but sometimes we are not ready for the package. I want to say that again. Sometimes why God delay things is because the package is ready for us, but we are not ready for the package. So God said, how can I bless you with a business if you do not have any good attitude towards customer? You can't expect God to bless you with a business, but yet still you do not have good character or you do not have good attitude. Because when God bless you with the business and when customers begin to come in, if you don't know how to deal with the customer, then the business is going to fail. So sometimes while God is preparing the package, God is working on us so that when we get the package, we will be ready for the package because what God is saying, what he is giving to us in this season, it is nothing temporary, but it is something permanent. God said, I'm moving some people out of the temporary season and I'm putting them into a permanent season. Oh, hallelujah. What God is preparing for you, it will bless your children and their children and their children's children. So sometimes God delay things because God is working on us. Hallelujah. Somebody right now need to lift your hands and look to God and say, Lord, work on me. Work on me, God. I need to be worked on because you have to understand people of God. The Bible said nothing good will he withhold to them that walk upright. So God said, as long as you are walking upright, as long as you set yourself or position yourself in the right place, then nothing good will he withhold from you. For the Bible said, the Lord said, I cannot pour wine into all skin. Hallelujah. I cannot pour wine into all skin. Hallelujah. Sometimes our heart is not at the place where God wants it to be. The Bible said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. With us as children of God, we have no problem praying. 
We have no problem seeking the face of God. But we have a problem. We have a turning problem. Sometimes we can't see our blessing or the miracle that God has in store for us. It's not because you're not praying enough. It's not because you're not fasting enough. God said you have a turning problem. And not until you make a turn, a U-turn, then you cannot see the manifestation, the full manifestation of the glory of God in your life. God is saying to someone, you need to change your mindset, change the way you walk, change the way you live, change the way you act, the way you behave. Oh, glory be to the Lamb of God. For the Bible declare in Hebrews 12 and verse 1, get rid of the sin and the weight that so easily beset us. The reason why God delay our blessing at times is because we are carrying some weight that we need to let go of. Sometimes we carry the weight of unforgiveness. We carry the weight of envy. We carry the weight of backbiting. We carry the weight of jealousy. And God said, how can I bless you if you're, if you're carrying iniquity in your heart, unforgiveness rather, if you're carrying unforgiveness, jealousy, for the Bible said, if you regard iniquity in your heart, then God will not hear. You will not hear from God. God will not answer you. And God will delay your blessing. And he said to someone tonight, set yourself in the right place so I can bless you. Get rid of unforgiveness. Get rid of jealousy. Get rid of the weight and the sin that so easily beset you. Because this is the season where God wants to pour out in you. You see, in order for a change to come, you have to be the change. You see, man of God, sometimes we're in a position, yes. sometimes we're in a place, or let me use this for example, sometimes we're in a relationship, my God, that God did not put you in. Mm -hmm. And being in that relationship, man of God, we pray to God. We ask for prayer. The pastor pray for us. The prophet prophesy to us. It is not prayer that you're lacking. It is not words of encouragement you're lacking. Sometimes in order for a change to come, you have to move out of that place in order for change to come. Because it doesn't matter how much the prophet prophesy. It doesn't matter how much the pastor pray for you. If you're not willing to make a shift, if you're not willing to make a change, if you're willing to stay in the same place, even if the pastor pray for you, things will only change for a while, but then things will come back again. So sometimes not until you move out of the place and the position that you're in, you will not see a change. Hallelujah. You will not see the move of God the way you ought to see it. So God said, this is the season where I want to pour out upon my children. This is the season where I want to bless my children. But my children have to be willing to make a shift. You have to be willing to move out and step out by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the devil, he come to kill, he come to steal, and he come to destroy. But God said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And though the enemy come up against you like a flood, God is getting ready to lift up a standard against the enemy. So what I'm trying to tell somebody tonight, your blessing is delayed because you're in the wrong place, you're in the wrong position, and you are around the wrong people. God said, change your position, change your crowd, change your atmosphere, and when you do that, you will see the blessing of God flow in your life. People of God, hear me tonight. God said, for I know the plans I have towards you. Plans to prosper you. Plans not to harm you, but to give you a hope and a bright future. God wants to give you a bright future in this season. But you have to be willing to let go and let God. Let go and let God.
David said, I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, because my help coming from cometh the Lord. From the Lord. Amen. And as I close, quick man of God, the Lord said to tell somebody, the quicker you change your attitude is the quicker God will bless you. The quicker you change is the quicker things will be arranged. The quicker you fix your mess is the quicker you will be blessed. For God said, when you begin to make a change, what would have taken you 10 years will only take you 10 days. Oh, glory to God. If only the children of Israel had walked in obedience, what would have taken them 40 years would have just taken them 40 days. Walk in obedience, change your position, change your crowd, change your atmosphere, and then you will see the blessing of God flow upon your life. Delay, but not deny. Sometimes we are the one who are delaying our blessing. Oh, glory to God. And God said, the quicker we fix ourselves is the quicker he will move on our, on our behalf. So those who are listening to me tonight, hear me, people of God. Change your atmosphere. Change your crowd. Change your attitude. And watch God move on your behalf. Let go and let God have his way in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for that word delayed but not denied you're tuned to love 101 fm the family station seven minutes after one o'clock you're inside the segment mpiaw motivation prayer instruction action and worship with me this morning is apostle dwight bartley he poured out that word change your atmosphere change your association change your attitude there's a blessing that God has in store for you. The package is ready. But are you ready to receive the package? Man of God is like, you know, the package is on the wharf, but, you know, they, you know, they have to be paying for storage because it's their reason. You know, they're, they're aware that God would have blessed them. You know, it's just like, you know, a person is sending something from the USA or England or wherever, and they tell you that they're sending a barrel. So expect you know, the barrel in a month time. And when the month come, you know that it's there, but maybe you didn't prepare to receive that blessing. You know, the delay is not because of God didn't re release the blessing, but you were not prepared to receive that blessing. And I believe that God has blessings in store. And I love the scripture that says in, um, in the Philippians chapter four, verse 19, where it says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. It means that God has already supplied all that you need, but you have to be at that place to receive the blessing. I know there are some listeners who would have sent in their prayer requests, and I'm seeing all your requests here. Uh, let me see if I can play a few. Just send in a prayer request for my friend, Son Kevorn. Mm -hmm. Who is in the hospital? Okay. Asking some prayer for him. Okay, okay. All right, so I'm seeing your request coming in. Uh, Maxine here is saying sound words. Jasmine Campbell, I'm seeing your requests. Um, praying for financial breakthrough. Um, so I'm seeing all the requests coming in. The man of God, because of time, I really want the man of God just to go straight into praying over all the requests that have been sent in and also praying for those who would have sent in their requests via Facebook and YouTube. So, man of God, over to you as you pray. And then in a little while, we're going to open the phone line. So over to you, man of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Before I pray. I just want you to exercise your faith tonight because the Bible said without faith, it is impossible to please God. And by your faith, you will be made whole. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you another time. We come before you because you're God. You are our King, our Master, and our Savior. And Lord, as we come before you, Lord, I pray, God Almighty, for those who have sent in their requests, 
You have seen them, mighty God. Hallelujah. I pray even now that you will move on these requests even now. I pray that you will bring forth deliverance to your children, those who are in need of deliverance. I pray even now that tonight they will be delivered by, oh God Almighty, whatsoever has been bounding them, whatsoever that has been holding them down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, mighty God, that someone who is not feeling well in the name of Jesus, I pray for your divine healing power to be rested upon that individual right now in the name of Jesus. You said by your stripes we are healed and I declare healing now in the name of Jesus. I pray even now God for those who are depressed, for those who feel like they want to give up. I pray strength upon them even now. I declare upon them now that all hope it is not lost it is not over until god says it is over and i pray mighty god that your spirit of comfort will be upon them right now in the name of jesus you said to joshua encourage yourself in the lord i pray that someone will encourage themselves in the lord in the name of jesus christ i pray for those who are struggling with depression those who are struggling with suicidal thoughts i pray for those who are struggling mighty god with unforgiveness all kinds of things that are holding them back we free them tonight rest your hands upon them tonight and we declare and we decree that there is not enough demons in hell to stop what you are about to do upon your children's lives in the name of jesus pour out mighty god we look to you by faith and we thank you that someone is going to have a testimony we thank you that someone is about to rejoice as david said we Pain may endure for a night, but my joy is coming in the morning. I thank you, Lord, that someone's joy has come in the name of Jesus Christ. And as we declare delay but not deny, we thank you even now that we are not denied in this season, but whatsoever belongs to us, we will receive it by faith in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, mighty God, that your children will continue to look to the hills from whence cometh their help because our help cometh from your mighty God. Bless your children right now. Cover them tonight. Deliver and set free as we look to you by faith and we tell you thanks in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Amen Praise and God. amen. Thank you for that Apostle Dwight Bartley for praying over the requests of the listeners of Love 101, those who sent in your requests via WhatsApp, those who sent in your requests via YouTube and Facebook. God has seen your requests and he has already granted your requests. You can go ahead at this time, give us a call. You can call You can call the studio line numbers 968-8327 or 876-968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us in studio. That's 968-8327 or 968-8328. You can speak directly to the man of God. Maybe you're a regular caller. Give someone else a chance to call in so that they can speak to the man of God. 876-99, that's 876-968-8327 or 876-968-8328. Those are the numbers to speak to the man of God. Caller, good morning. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? Where you're calling from? Good morning. My name is Children calling from Clarendon. I didn't get your name. I only heard Clarendon. What's your name? Shereen. Shereen from Clarendon. All right, go ahead, Shereen, and see if it can speak to the man of God. Can you hear him? Can you hear her, man of God? Yes, a little. Yeah, I think I can hear her. All right, no. go ahead. Go ahead. Good morning. As I was here listening to the word, okay, I take the word for myself. At this moment, I'm going through a rough, rough valley. Every year in my life, I am going through at this moment. I'm calling for prayer. Okay. So, say so you're going through a rough time and you need prayer. Because right now, I had a 
easier infection. I went to the hospital. I have a baby in December. I live with that. Really, just because of seeing it, like telling you everything, everything. Something Amen. As I pray for you. you. Okay, as I pray for you tonight, just lift your faith and believe that God is able. Father, here is your daughter before you. I lift her before you. I give God, oh, hallelujah. God, I give her to you tonight. The question was asked, is there anything that is too hard for you? Nothing is too hard for you, mighty God. Move on your daughter's behalf. I pray for deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God Almighty, that your spirit of courage will rest upon her. We bind the spirit of depression and we declare and we decree that you shall not die, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. I pray the peace of God in your home, in your life, in your business, around your family, in Jesus' name. And I declare healing and deliverance right now in Jesus' name, amen and amen. amen. It is already done, man of God. Lift your faith. Bless God you, my bless sister. You. Thanks for calling, all right? All right, all Thank the best. All the best to you now. Thank to God. 876-968-8327. 876-968-8328. Call a good morning. You're live on Love 101. Yes, good morning. My name is Tamaki Church, and I'm suffering with my feet. I'm not hearing I you. Have to speak up. Is your radio on? I, it's far away from me. All right. I have to. Uh, uh, my feet have given me problems. They're burning me. I can't get to go to church mm -hmm. right now. I even prefer my clothes. I don't know. I just I really want to have the feet to walk out tomorrow. Well, the fact that you pressed out your clothes already—that's enough yes. fate. That's that's fate because. You know, I, this evening I saw that my clothes were pressed out. So I said, you know what? Even though I'm coming to work and I'm going home early tomorrow morning or, or, or this morning, I should say, at 6 o'clock, I'm still going to make my way. I'm still going to yeah. make my way to church, regardless of how yeah. I'm feeling now. So I believe that you can make the same um, fate walk as well, as in yeah, going out. Burn the man, burn me, I hurt me when I, I'm lying in the bed and jumping. I'm jumping, you know, like somebody pumping them. Okay, okay. So the man of God is going to pray for you. Remind us of your name. Margaret. Margaret Jarrett. Mar Margaret Jarrett. Margaret Jarrett. All right, go ahead, man of God. Hallelujah. Father, we come before you on behalf of your daughter, Margaret, sister Margaret. Father, you see the problem. Father, you said by your stripes we're healed. Tonight, we declare healing upon her foot right now are upon her feet in the mighty name of Jesus. We say healing now because you said healing is your children's bread. And Father, I declare and I decree that tonight her feet will be healed in the name of Jesus. The same power that healed the woman with the issue of blood is the same healing power in operation tonight. I declare healing upon you right now. Receive it by faith. In Jesus' name, you are healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 All right. Bless you. Bless you. Bless, bless you, my sister. 968 8327. 968 those are the numbers to connect with the man of God at this moment. 876-968-8327 or 968-8328. We have another call. Call a good morning. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? Where you're calling from? My name is Crystal and I'm calling from Williamsfield. Crystal from Williamsfield. Go ahead and speak to the man of God. All right. So I'm feeling pain inside my belly. And on my right hand side. Hallelujah. Praise God. Go ahead and rest your hand upon your belly right now, right where you're feeling that pain. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as I stretch my hand, even now, through the power of the Holy Ghost, we speak to that pain in her belly and around her waist. We command you to go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You said life and death is in the power of our tongue. And I speak life to your body in the name of Jesus. And I declare and I decree that your body will respond to healing. It is not what doctors say, but it is what God say. And God said you are healed 
In Jesus' name, I declare healing right now. Devil, you are a liar. She is healed in Jesus' name. Woman of God, you are healed by faith. Receive your healing and believe that you are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Bless you, Crystal. Thanks for calling. All right? You're welcome. All right. All the best to you now. 968-8327. 968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us here in studio. Speak to the man of God. Time is winding down. I'm going to take some more calls. 876-968-8327. Our, our, our 876-968-8328. Uh, we have two calls on the line. Let's go to talk to the first caller. Caller, are you there? Caller number one. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. So hearing you both, Um, is your radio on? Any of you? Yes, um, I'm gonna turn it down. Yeah, you, ha you have to turn it off, all right? So you can do yes. it. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. Just I'll let one, one person speak at a time. Um, starting with the give me a name so I can refer to you both. Um, Carrie, Carrie, and who's the other person? Jennifer. Jennifer, Carrie. all right, let's speak to Carrie and then we speak to Jennifer. Is that okay? Okay. All right, go ahead, Kerry, and speak to the man of God. And then when you're through, before the man of God pray, we're going to hear from Jennifer, all right? So go ahead, I'm Kerry. Good night. I'm just calling the strength. Um, hello? Yeah, go ahead. The man of God is listening. We're listening. I'm calling you. for strength. I, I'm just not feeling like I normally used to feel. Okay. In Okay. In myself, um, even a while ago, I just took out my clothes, mm -hmm. sort of myself, I got church and thing, and mm -hmm. I just not feeling so hot in my spirit. I just need a, a little pep up. Yeah, mm -hmm. fire for strength, and even my side it just hurting me. Even when the caller just calling about her side. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just put my hand on my side. I'm not feeling so hot in myself and in my spirit. I um, just want to pray for, pray for strength. Okay, okay, all right. Just before, all right. So, Jennifer, are you there? Go ahead, Jennifer. Yes, sir. Um, can I talk to Pastor, please? Yeah, man, he's listening. Pastor Jennifer is talking to you. Okay. Yes, yes Pastor. My problem is when you talk about changing your atmosphere, and so forth. What 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 should I? What are you saying? Should I change the place of worship and and and, and so forth so that in, for the Lord to bless me? As you was talking about Abraham stepped out. What should I do? Because I need to know. Well, if you're in an atmosphere that you know that God is not pleased and you're not comfortable in your spirit and you know you're not comfortable, the blessing is not flowing the way it ought to. You know, and you realize for years or for a long period of time you have been there and nothing is going on. And if you feel a move in your spirit, because you have to feel a move before you can move, because it is one thing for you to, to say that you're going to move, but it's another thing for God to say it is time to move. You have to know the time to move. You have to be sensitive to the spirit. And that is the reason why the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? So when you seek God, and his righteousness and everything shall be added. So when you begin to see God, and if you, God, put it in your spirit to move out of the atmosphere that you're not comfortable, you know, you're just not feeling anything, and it's like it is a struggle, it is like a burden, then that is the time you know it is time to make a shift. Once you feel the move in your spirit, once you feel the drive to do so, then that is what I'm basically talking about. All right, so just before you go, woman of God, we're going to, the man of God is going to pray but, for you. Um, mm, go ahead. I need prayer for financial, a financial virtue too. Okay. All right, so yeah, the man of God is, job, so the man of God is going to, yeah, go I'm ahead. I'm not working presently and I need a job. I don't know if it's, that's why I feel so down these days. Okay, okay. Yes, pastor, before I go, mm -hmm. but where I'm, I'm living to, it's like a stagnant. Um, This minute things are coming to a next minute they're in the same position. So, you know, it, it's mm -hmm. so difficult. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir. All right, go ahead, Apostle. 
Amen. That is the reason why it is important to pray and to continue to seek God in whatever you're going through. You know, sometimes you're in a place where God is going to bring deliverance, but sometimes a change. You just seek the Lord and then he will speak to your spirit, most definitely. But let me pray with you really quick as you come by faith and believe God. Father, I pray for your daughter, Kerry, I believe. Lord, I pray she's depressed, she's down. But Lord, I pray your strength to rest upon her. I pray strength upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare the peace of God upon her tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. For as the word of God said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I pray even now the strength of God to rest upon her. You said a good man's step is ordered by God. And I pray even now that you will continue to order her step when every time the devil realizes that a blessing is coming, he will discourage our spirit. He will cause us to feel depressed and down. But I pray even now that your daughter will just rejoice because the best is yet to come. Any time the devil says the best is yet to come, the devil will create havoc. The devil will create problems. But I pray even now that your daughter, you will press in the name of Jesus. The apostle Paul said, I press towards the mark of the higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. I declare even now that you will push and that you will press because there is a miracle in store for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for a financial breakthrough even now in the name of Jesus. My God, I pray, oh hallelujah, that you will pour out a blessing even now from the east, the west, the north and the south. David said, I was young, but no I'm old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken or is seen begging bread. Your daughters will not beg for bread. I pray deliverance, victory, and strength in Jesus' name. Be thou made whole. Rejoice in the Lord again. Rejoice, rejoice because the peace of God is upon you now in your atmosphere where you are right now. The glory and the manifestation of God is about to take place in your life. I declare it and I decree it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. 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 All right. Bless Jesus. you both. Bless you both. Indeed, God is working this morning. We're going to take about two more calls. 968-8327. 968-8328. Those are the numbers to reach us here in studio. 968-8327. 968-8328. Twenty-eight. Caller, good morning. You're live on Love 101. What's your name? Where you're calling from? Hi, my name is Tanik. First time caller. Hi, I'm Tanik. From... I Hi, just... I'm calling from Walton. Uh, hold on, my friend from Walton. Let me take another call. Caller number two, what's your name? Um, Lily. I'm calling from Lauren Stavern. Lauren Stavern. Lily from Lauren Stavern. And remind me of my, your fr my friend from Walton. What's your name? Shanique. Shanique from Waltham. So go ahead, Shanique, speak first, and then my other caller will speak. All right? Go ahead, Shanique. Hi, I'm calling for a financial breakthrough. I recently got a scholarship to attend a school in Canada. I already planned part of the money, but I still need help finding the next half. So I'm calling for a financial breakthrough for me and my family, my parents. Okay, great. All right. The other the other caller from um remind me remind me of your name again. Lilith, Lilith from Lawrence Tavern. All right, go ahead, Lilith, and speak to the man of God. Hello? Yeah, go ahead, Lilith. Are you there? Yes, I'm calling to ask for prayer. Mm -hmm. I'll break through um of six sisters and brothers in this that I need some financial help from that getting through mm -hmm. with them over two years now. Wow, wow. Uh, for a breakthrough. My okay, so both of you need financial assistance. I believe that God can show for you both supernaturally in yeah. the ways that you're believing that God will show up. And I know the man of God has been preaching about faith this morning, and he's going to be praying for you both. So go ahead. Is there anything you'd like to say to the man of God before you pray this morning for these two women? Most definitely, especially um, the first caller. Is it Yanni? Shanique. 
technique. Right. The moment you call, and even before you make mention of the request, the Lord showed me where you are planning to study. And God said, it is already done. The way is already paved. And God said, you're coming out successful because in the seas of failure will not be your portion. For the Lord said, I know the plans I have towards you, plan to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a bright future. Your future is bright and you're coming out on top in the name of Jesus Christ. God said, worry not yourself because everything is going to be all right in Jesus' name. Amen. You will not fail and God will not fail you. Hallelujah. As I pray, bow your heads with me. Believe God by faith in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Father, I come before you another time. Here is your daughter before you. You knew her before she was forming her mother's womb. You have called her. You have ordained her to be what you have desired for her to be. And even now, as she's asking mighty God, the Bible said, we should ask and it shall be given seed and we shall find knock and the door shall be open. Right now, God, I'm knocking on the behalf of your daughter who is seeking a financial breakthrough. I pray, God, that you will pour out, oh God, upon her. I declare favor to come in her direction. I declare favor to come from the east, the west, the north, and the south in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I declare, mighty God, that your daughter is coming out on top. The songwriter said, I will not suffer and I will not beg for bread because the Lord is my provider. You are her provider. I pray that you will provide for her, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Give her a test testimony in Jesus name I believe that it is already done and there is nothing the devil can do about it I prophesy that the financial breakthrough is coming and you shall have a testimony in Jesus name amen the tuition will be paid because God start a good work and he will bring it to completion oh glory to God I pray for the second caller who is also inquiring about a financial breakthrough i pray god that you will provide in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare that your servant is blessed in the city blessed in her going out and blessed in her coming in i pray that the servant's store basket will never run dry open the windows of heaven and pour out a fresh anointing a fresh blessing upon your children i declare a financial breakthrough even now in Jesus name and we declare that it is already done in Jesus name we pray by faith and we say amen and amen praise amen. God thank you Hallelujah. amen bless you both amen. thank you so thank much Shanique you. and thank Lilith so all the best to you both all right Hallelujah. thank you so much Lord have a great night God. all right you too all right so those were Let's take two more calls. Two more. Two more. So I said two more just now. But we, I'm sensing that there are two more persons that need uh, to connect with this man of God. See, the lights are blinking already. Caller number one, what's your name? Hello, good morning. All right, just a second, my friend. All right, go ahead, first caller. What's your name? Remind us of your name, my first caller. My name is Barbara. Barbara. My second caller, I just answered no. What's your name? Hello? Hello, my name is Barbara. Barbara, but there's another caller on the line. Are you there, other caller? Yes, Brother Roshane. I got cut off when I called. B what's your name? Hello? Brother Roshane, I'm Jennifer. I called with the other lady, but I got cut off. Jennifer, what, what did you call for prayer? Did you speak to the man of God? Yes, but you said that you prayed for the other lady and next prayer for me. Okay, so where you prayed for? Did you listen to the radio? The other, um, the other lady, she was um making this noise. I didn't get to hear. Okay, but we were actually, we, you were already prayed for, all right? Okay. Yeah, man, he prayed all for right. you both, all right? Okay. All right, bless you. All right, so go ahead, my first call. Remind us of your name. What's your name? My name is Barbara. Barbara. Where are you calling from, Barbara? Can you speak up? You're you're very low. Yes, I'm calling from Montego Bay. Okay. Go ahead and just speak yes. to the man of God, Barbara. Yes. Hello. 
Tell a man of God, good morning. Good morning. Yes, sir. Um, I'm having um, a flu, and I speak with my heart. So I'm calling to ask if you can pray for me for special healing for my life and a financial breakthrough. Please. Okay. Hallelujah. As I pray for you, Barbara, just lift your faith. <clears throat> Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before you, the God who heals, the God who delivers. Father, even now, I come against heart failure. I pray that you will operate on her heart in the name of Jesus Christ. What doctor cannot do, you can do it. I declare that she will not die before her time, but she will live to testify of the work of God. And even now, I command the healing power of God to rest upon her heart. Even now, in the name of Jesus, I pray that your heart will respond to healing in Jesus' name. The same power that healed the woman with the issue of blood. The same power that caused the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the dumb to speak, and the lame to walk. The very same power in operation because you're the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I declare that you are healed right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And oh, also pray for a financial hey. breakthrough. I declare that God is already providing. God is already making a way. You shall be the head and not the tail. In Jesus' name, you will not suffer and you will not beg for bread because the Lord is your provider. Provide for your daughter, mighty God, as I lift her up before you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. Bless you, my sister. And of course, we're over now to our final caller. His name is Clevon. Clevon from Hanover. Is that right? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead and speak to the man of God. Good night, sir. Good night. Um, I'm calling the office of my mother and I. We need spiritual prayers because we are going through some more fears. Okay. And I need, I am not working at this time and I need a job. Okay. So have you applied, and, have you applied, sent out any application and so on? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and okay. 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 So the man of God is going to be praying for you and he's going to be giving you some yeah. instructions. All right. Both for both of you. How's your mother? What's happening with your mom? Um, <laughs> she she have um diabetes and she have pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And if food swellings. Okay. All right. So man, and I need a special prayer for my brother as well. Your brother. Your brother lives in the same household. Everybody's in the same household. Yes, sir. Okay, and your brother is younger. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. All right, go ahead, Apostle, and pray for this household. They need a household blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, I come before you. I look to you another time, mighty God. Here is your son before you who is requesting prayer, oh God, for himself and for his family. Lord, he had sent out application for a job. The question is asked, is there anything too hard for you? Lord, I pray even now that there will be a phone call for a job in the name of yeah. Jesus. Christ. Hallelujah. You said we should speak things that are not as though they are. And I declare and I decree that there will be a call. Oh, la bonde bakushkatai. In the name of Jesus. Christ, now, I pray by faith that you will receive a call between now into the month of into the month of March. Oh God, I see a call coming in between the month of February into the month of March, into the middle of March. It's coming in Jesus' name. No longer will you suffer, no longer will you struggle because you serve a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ever think or ask of. And even now as you're going through that warfare, the Bible said the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God by the 
pulling down of stronghold. I pull down every stronghold from around you and, uh, and from around your family. And I pray that the power of God may rest upon you and your family. I declare deliverance upon your family in your home right now. In Jesus' name, the weapons will form, but they will not prosper. Oh, glory to God. I pray for your mother, that your mother will be healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. I declare that she's receiving her healing right now in Jesus' name. And I pray for your brother, whatever that he's going through, I pray deliverance upon him. And I declare that he will be walk through the valley of the shadow of death. He will fear no evil, for the Lord is with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Protect them, mighty God. Deliver them even now. And we give you thanks by faith in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. My brother, but don't give up. Continue to pray. Jacob said, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. Do not let go. Do not give up. There are times when we feel weak and there are times when we feel like we want to give up. But the time when we give up, that is the time God is about to move on our behalf. The devil wants us to give up because he doesn't want us to enjoy the blessing or to receive the blessing that God has for us. Remember, Daniel prayed, and the very first day he prayed, the angel of the, the angel appeared unto him and said, The very first day that you pray, God hear your prayer. But the prince of the year, the prince of Persia, was fighting against the answer for it not to be released. But because of Daniel's persistency, the answer was released. Continue to be persistent, continue to be consistent, and most definitely continue to be faithful, and God will see you through. God bless you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Really happy that the man of God just blessed that household and their household will never be the same again. Oh, my goodness. I, I wish we had more time, but I'm still getting some more calls. I have a lady on the line that's holding. But let me say hello to this person. Hello. Good morning. Hello, my name. Mm -hmm. What's your hello, name? My name. My name is um, Beverly Hashmi. Okay, hold on, Beverly. I spoke to you earlier. Um, what's no. the name of What's the name of the other caller? It's, it's Janet. So Janet, who's yeah, who's is radio Janet. is on? Who's radio is on? It's um. It's, oh, Beverly, I'm turn my radio down. Yeah. Sorry about that. You have to turn it off. All right. Yes. Hello. All right. So, Hello. All right. So Janet is on the line, and Beverly Ashley is on the line, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's speak to Beverly Ashley. She's the one that's um called first so go ahead yeah. beverly and speak to the man of god and then afterwards we'll speak to janet all right, all right go, okay. ahead, go ahead beverly okay my name is beverly Ashley, and two years ago um i got sick from my line from my waistline go down it's like it paralyzed i could move but being as a christian i keep on praying and fasting and it leave and go right down into my foot like in my foot now it's like stiff pain. Sometimes I foot feel heavy. I can hardly walk. I cannot go to my real church, so I have to go to a nearby church. So I'm just asking for some prayer. I used to pray like three times that morning, in the afternoon and evening, and I find out that, you know, when time for prayer, like I can hardly pray. Everything just. Hello. Okay. All right. So the man of God is taking note. Janet, go ahead, Janet. Yes, I am here every every Saturday night into Sunday morning. I'm up because this is a very special program. Yeah, and I join in prayer with the the, the, um, the man of God or the woman of God in praying for others. You know, um, I called just the other day. No, I'm calling. Uh, the Lord has impressed on my heart to call and have a prayer for. A cousin of mine who is really struggling, you know, um, she she's working on a, a little place for herself, and it's like it, it, everything the devil seems to be doing all sorts of things for her not to complete it. Um, funds um, just not flowing, and all of that, and you know, and she's become discouraged. I try to talk with her, I pray with her, encouraging her that God has something in mind for her. But I just want to, when I listen to the man of God, you know, I know this is a man that is connected to God, you know, and, and, and so I see like asking him to pray for her. Her name is Gloria. 
Gloria Roberts. So I'm asking for prayer for her. I'd like to join with him in prayer on her behalf. Okay. All right. So we're going to pray for the first caller, Ashley. Yes. And then we're going to pray for your family. All right, Janet? Yes, right, thank go you. Ahead. All right, go ahead, man of God. Um, you're on mute. You're muted at the time. You're muted at this time. Sorry. Yeah, go so ahead. First now. Caller, Ashley or Beverly? Beverly Ashley, is it right? Beverly Ashley? Yes, yes sir. All right, go ahead. Okay, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your daughter, Beverly, by name. I command right now the devil to back up in the name of Jesus. We declare and we decree that the devil will take his hands off you right now. And I pray that the hands of God will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree that you shall not die. You will not be crippled, but you shall live to declare the works of the Lord. I pray that whatsoever the devil meant for evil, God will turn it around for your good. In the name of Jesus, I pray the healing power of God to touch you from the crown of your head to the very sole of your feet. And I pray that your body will respond to healing you will not be paralyzed you will not be in any wheelchair and you will not be bedridden i command the healing power of god to rest upon your night right now and i command every demons and devil that is an assignment for your life to back up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, the Lord said, touch not my anointed and do my servant no harm. I declare that the enemy will not do you any harm. You are healed in the name of Jesus. It is not what man say, but it is what God say. And you shall stand up in victory. You shall stand up in victory in the name of Jesus Christ and you shall live to testify and I declare that you will say look what the Lord has done because you are healed right now in Jesus name move on the behalf of your daughter in Jesus name I pray amen and amen father God I pray for the second caller who is requesting prior oh glory to God for her loved one my God I pray even now that you will touch that individual wherever they are I pray deliverance I pray breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare that the weapons can only form around that individual but it will not prosper it will not stop that person from going to where God want that person to go in the name of Jesus Christ I declare and I decree the blessing of God to flow upon such a one even now in the name of Jesus I pray mighty God that the tears that will be coming from that individual's eye will not be a tear of sadness but it will be tears of joy because Amen. you're about to do yeah. something new in that person's life even now in the name of Jesus I declare deliverance I declare breakthrough do it again you did it before and you can do it again do it again Lord do it again by faith I tell you thanks for that which you're about to do and that which you have already done in Jesus name amen and amen hallelujah Thank you, man of God I pray that God dear, dear Lord God I pray you bless you over this your servant Lord God even as you have emptied himself to bless, oh God, all these your people calling in. I pray right now, Lord God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that, oh God, you will renew him, you will rejuvenate him, oh God, that you bless him with a blessing that he can't even store, Lord God. I pray, God, that you're just going to use him for your glory as you use him, Lord God, to bless us all on the airways. Thank you. And bless Brother Roshane, Lord God. I see, Lord God, where he's growing in you. And I pray, God, that you continue to just bless Brother Roshane, Lord God. And bless this your man of God. As I say, thanks to you with expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bless you, you both. both. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. All right. So, all right, so man of God, I know you would have shared a powerful message earlier, delayed but not denied. Just before we wrap things up this morning, just do a quick recap and just release some instructions to the listeners of Love 101 as we close out in fine style this morning. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
Thank you again for having me, man of God. And indeed, God has spoken to our hearts. Delay but not deny. Walk in obedience. The Bible said obedience is better than sacrifice. It is good for you to walk in obedience and be in a place of danger, but you are guaranteed favor. Hallelujah. God will deliver you. Continue to trust him. You see, as I said before, in order for your blessing to come, you have to change your atmosphere, change your thinking, change your attitude. And when you do that, God will move on your behalf. Walk in obedience. Continue to look to the hills from whence come at your help. Your help does not come from man. Man will fail you, but God will not fail you. Continue to trust him. Continue to praise him. And do not give up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, your final words, uh, man of God, before you go this morning. Um, is there anybody you'd like to say hi to? I saw I saw the, the DJ. What's the name again? Arville Sutherland. I say, work, Apostle Bartley, work. So, I big up to Arville Sutherland himself. Yes. Um, a powerful man of God. You know, shout out my family, my mother, bless them, Bartley, there in Christiana, if you're hearing me, to all my church family, to my beautiful wife, and to all my friends, and to those who are living. Listening, God bless you. God, God bless, bless you. you. God bless you, man of God. Thank you so much for making it Love 101. Thank you so much for availing yourself. I really, I'm really excited to to um to invite men and women of God who are ready. Because when I called you this evening, you did not hesitate. You said, man of God, I'm ready. And that's the place that we ought to be as ministers. We ought to be ready at any time to share. And of course, coming at this hour is a tremendous sacrifice. But your sacrifice has blessed a lot of people this morning. Just before you go, just release one more prayer for those who are listening, those who want to connect by faith. I really want somebody to be blessed this morning. So whoever you are, wherever you are, lay your hands on the radio. Receive this blessing as the man of God is going to pray one more time for you this morning. Go ahead, man of God. Hallelujah. Father, as I come before you one more time, you're not tired of hearing us. And as your children rest their hand on their radio or on their screen, I pronounce a blessing upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that each and every one of them will have a testimony. Delay but not deny. I pray for those who feel like they want to give up. I pray for those who feel like they want to throw in the towel. I pray mighty God that your strength will rest upon them and I pray that they will understand that it is not over until you say it is over. Bless them even now. Cover them under your blood. I know that it is very rough. It is very difficult, especially in this time of pandemic. But you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could ever think or ask of or even imagine. God, I pray, oh God Almighty, that you will deliver your children, set them free. For who the Son set free is free indeed. Continue to bless, oh God Almighty, the Love 101 team family bless them keep them as they continue to be a blessing in the lives of many i know that you will bless them indeed i thank you even now for that which you're about to do and that which you have already done and whatsoever i fail to ask of you fail not to grant in jesus name as we look to you by faith and tell you thanks amen and amen amen Hallelujah. and amen Again, we want to thank Apostle Dwight Bartley for passing through. I know you're currently doing a ministry. Uh, there are some listeners. Normally, it, if it's your permission, there are some listeners who are reaching out. They want to connect with your ministry. Do you have a ministry number you'd like those who want to reach out to you for prayer? And All so? right. The ministry hasn't set a number as yet, but what they can do, they can follow me on Facebook, um, Dwight Bartley. And you can text me in Messenger. I have a meeting that I keep every Monday and Wednesday. You can message me and feel free to join. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, Bartley underscore Dwight. That's Bartley underscore Dwight. And once you message me or inbox me, I will definitely respond to you 
and send the link. God bless. All right. God bless you, man of God. Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for being a blessing to us here at Love 101. And all the best to you. And all the best to my cousin, Keely McKenzie. Keely, I always call her Mackenzie. At one point, I was going to call you guys the Mackenzies. But I want to bless Keely Bartley. Uh, I know she's probably sleeping. If that's <laughs> So blessings and abundance to you. All the best to you, Apostle, and thanks for passing through, all right? God bless you, man of God. Thanks for having me. All right, all the best to you now. It's Love 101 FM. The